Hello guys. Welcome to Top Anime Sensei. This video is the continuation video after Rimuru's network. So if you have not watched it, then please watch it. The link is in the description. So without any further delay let's start. But before we start please like, subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss the updates. What? How do you know such classified information? Elric was unable to respond, while Gavin began to shout, trying to hide his panic. I, on the other hand, was not in a rush nor panic, I merely gave them a smug smile. By doing so, surely, they would have a wrong impression of me. Since I didn't really know what was going on, either, I only did that because Raphael San said so, and that was about it. Elric's party was in shock. The speaker seemed to realize what was going on as he began to glare at Elric and his men. The tide had quickly turned and now we had the high ground. A counselor attempted to sit down in the chaos, but I refused to allow that. I already warned you, we aren't going to clean up the mess idiots like you make, said the commander of the Apostles of Vert. I couldn't tell if it was a man or a woman from the voice. It appeared that they had severed ties with Elric completely. The victor had been decided. And at that moment, my goal was practically complete. But what I didn't realize then was that there were still fools who couldn't admit defeat. Quit joking around. Elric Sama, don't worry, when I defeat the Demon Lord, all these problems will be resolved. Oh oh, oh Reiner. Sir Reiner, you have a point. You're still our strongest trump card, you are the most reliable. They were relentless, at this point, did they still want to continue what they were doing and ignore the council's will? That might be a bit too reckless, what was going through these idiots' minds? Do you guys seriously think you can defeat me? What kind of stupid line is that, of course we are. Are you scared or something? If you come and lick my boots right now, I might let you live and without torture," Reiner responded crudely. He was dangling the domination orb as he spoke, looking like he wanted to control me with that. Following Reiner's lead, Guy gave some sort of order to the soldiers. At that, the soldiers quickly began to block the doors, by the looks of it, they didn't plan to let anyone escape the room, and had determined to remedy their previous miscalculation by force. The members of the Apostles of Vert all stepped back, but there were some other high-level adventurers present as well, they began to draw their weapons against us. You people, how dare you show weapons here, what kind of lunacy is this? The speaker shouted. However, the second floor was soon blocked by the soldiers as well, his voice quietened quickly after that, seemingly having been kidnapped by a couple of counselors. I was ready to take action, but then, Hanada got there before me. How barbaric, as the witness, I cannot sit and watch this transpire, moreover, haven't you insulted me enough already? Hanada finished, smiling dangerously at Reiner. The venue prohibited any weapon, so instead, she began to fight with her fists. She fought just as ferociously as she would have with her sword. This guy was toasted. Rimuru, leave this fellow to me. Kukuku, that's pretty funny. I am the strongest man in Ingracia, I'm gonna rip that smile off your face. Saint, my ass people praise you as humanity's guardian, and now you've let it all get to your head? Well, that ends today, I shall teach you to face reality." Reiner bit off more than he could chew in saying this to Hanada. He wasn't that weak, to be honest, being above rank A, if he were to battle Majin Gelmid, I was sure they would end up in a tie. But he didn't know the sheer distance between heaven and earth, perhaps his talent seemed impressive in a peaceful kingdom. While he was strong, he wasn't really subjected to battle against monsters often, and so, Reiner had no idea how strong monsters really were. Guy was just like him in that aspect. Then let me handle the demon lord. Okay, don't kill him, Guy. We've given you the holy sword, use it to its full potential. That goes without saying, with gear like this, I'll never lose. Guy planned to fight me. He seemed to have received some amazing weapon and was showing it off, but that kind of stuff was, at most, around unique grade. Moreover, if Guy was relying on skills and gear, the challenger himself probably wouldn't be too strong himself, Guy might have been above rank A, but he still posed no threat against me now. It would be pretty troublesome to have to deal with a guy like this at this point, that was my genuine thought. But it seemed that I wasn't needed, after all. I cannot take this anymore. You have been truly too rude to our beloved Rimuru-sama, said Shuna, stepping in front of me. Her aura couldn't be ignored. She walked towards Guy without a word. Ah, ah, Shuna looked more pissed than me. I looked around and saw Benamaru frozen with one step out. He was too late, and now that our eyes met, it was awkward. Hmm, I understood that. 
I felt the same way. I communicated this thought to Benamaru with my eyes. We truly shared a bond. Hee <laughs> hee, ha ha ha. Just how much are you looking down on us here? Demon Lord Rimuru, to hide behind such a weak woman, have you no shame? Guy laughed at me in front of Shuna's face. There was no use saying this to me. Since Shuna wanted to go, I didn't want to take away her chance to show herself. Benamaru was displeased but held back, so, I could only do the same. Silence, trash like you doesn't require Rimuru-sama or Oni-sama to handle, I alone should be sufficient. Don't you regret saying something like that now? I won't show mercy even to women and children. Guy unsheathed his sword as he finished, as expected from a holy sword, it looked awesome. Seeing that weapon, Shuna's smile intensified, her unique skill, analyzer, must have seen through Guy's true abilities. Then I didn't need to worry anymore. Soy had already been waiting for orders for a while, he would handle any other problem. I decided to focus on cheering for Shuna. And so, under the eyes of the many authority figures within the council, the two groups confronted each other. While just a second ago, one of the two groups was quite confident and menacing. Yet the confrontation ended almost instantly. First off, the duel between Hanata and Reiner was like a wrestle between an elephant and an ant. Hanata was in her formal outfit in order to attend the conference, her outfit seemed to restrict her movements somewhat, but she still approached Reiner in an extremely agile manner. Reiner, on the other hand, was unable to even react at all. That was kind of expected to be honest. Even though Hanada had no intention of fighting him seriously, she was still stronger than third-rate demon lords. She made her way right in front of Reiner before grabbing his arm and shoulder and throwing him away. Shuna did not hold back either. Just as Guy had announced, he swung at Shuna without mercy. Yet Shuna did not even flinch before she used her fan to make one smooth slash. That slash alone shattered Guy's sword. What the fuck? What a piece of trash. I'm not going to kill you that easily. Didn't you just go on about yourself being rank A? Isn't it about time to show me what you've got? Are you giving up already after breaking your sword? Shuna taunted as she pointed her fan at Guy. Damn it. How dare a mere monster look down on me? Guy shouted angrily. No matter how you looked at it, Shuna was playing with him. The difference in strength was obvious. But for him to think he still had a chance to win, I couldn't help but wonder just how delusional he could be. By the way, so Shuna is good at martial arts as well. Yeah, Hakuro taught her jujitsu. Speaking of Hakuro's jujitsu, it was like the ancient martial arts used for combat. It was a dangerous style that contained many lethal techniques. It was definitely beyond ordinary arts of self-defense. To have taught the princess such a dangerous martial art, I finally got more insight to the aggressive nature of the ogre clan. Shuna continued her attack. Guy pulled out his backup sword, yet Shuna, teasing her opponent, tripped Guy over his feet. Shuna glared coldly at Guy on the ground. Her petite mouth began to chant spells. I pray to thy god, grant me thy holy power, lend me thy ears to hear my wishes. Her words, in the form of prayer, went beyond time and space to be channeled to me. Although I was standing next to her, it didn't matter at this point. Huh? What the hell is going on? Guy was shocked as layers of magic circles began to close around him. Wait, this magic is. Aha, so Guy knew. I guess he really was above rank A. But even if you knew, there was no way he could deal with this. At this point of the casting, he couldn't possibly escape. He had no choice but to tough it out or try to defend himself. Although, I doubted he would be able to do either. After all, this spell. Please, please stop. All things in life shall come to an end. Disintegration. Was the strongest spell in all holy magic. A stream of light devoured Guy, and there was nothing left, or so it seemed. Whoa, it looked like Shuna had killed the guy, or so I thought. She didn't, however. The light faded, leaving behind a half-naked guy. He probably lost all the strength in his legs and couldn't stand up as he collapsed on the ground, exhausted, but he lived. Congrats, congrats. Era, looks like my technique was not masterful enough. The spell didn't seem to work. I see that spells that I'm still practicing really are quite useless. Shuna grinned as she said all that nonsense. I almost couldn't hold back my tease of, seriously? After all, to use, disintegration, so precisely as to only destroy the armor, it only could have only been done with absolutely perfect execution. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you guys have not watched my other videos, then please watch them.
the links are in the description. And don't forgot to like, subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss the updates.